God created the heaven and the earth. And he gave the earth to mankind, and with it the power to choose between good and evil. Man has consistently tried to devise ways of reaching God physically instead of spiritually. This is Capricorn Control. All systems are go. In 1969, man walked on the moon. From there, he looked at what God made, planet Earth. Men have devised schemes or plans of nuclear weaponry capable of destroying our world in merely a flash of time. The church, therefore, has an awesome task and responsibility. For 400 years, the church, which has been the strength of the people, started with the Holy Eucharist in Canada at Frobisher Bay on Baffin Island on the northeast coast. Here in this part of the Midwest Canada corridor, we are part of the celebration of communion with Christ in the new world. The Indians of Saskatchewan's Northlands are our mission. And this is a seemingly insurmountable task for one man. But with the aid of an airplane, it is a beginning. Larange, on the shore of Lac Larange, 150 miles or 240 kilometers from Prince Albert. Geographically in the center of Saskatchewan is the base for the air ministry. The rector of All Saints Parish and Archdeacon of Saskatchewan, the venerable Bud Moot, is the diocesan pilot in the town of Larange. This is All Saints Church. Services were first held in this area as early as 1845. This building was erected in 1909 and still stands today in the center of the community. The church was asked to send teachers. And because men like the Reverend Henry Budd, the first Cree person to be ordained priest, responded, we are here. The people are still asking to be fed. We have lost some ground, and in Larange, white people now outnumber the Indians, and not many are Anglicans. This fact, however, emphasizes the general attitude of more and more native people, that the white man's religion is not good for the Indians. But the proliferation of denominations, and more importantly, non-worshipping whites, is a far greater difficulty than ever was evident amongst a primitive people. The majority of native people do not accept the disunity amongst whites. They are, for the most part, extremely tolerant. A lovely setting, but the work goes on. Even maintenance of the plane can mean downtime in good weather. This is the nose hanger, which can be skidded onto the ice in winter. The canvas front is wrapped around the nose of the aircraft, tightly at minus 40. The A-frame. This will lift the entire airplane until suspended to enable the engineer to equip the plane with the seasonal landing gear. The plane is sitting on the shore float ramp. In 1972, the government of Saskatchewan decided to establish a base of operations in the north, for the north, and hopefully and eventually by the north. Thus the instigation of what is called DNS, Department of Northern Saskatchewan. This is their temporary facility, which, as of early 1980, has been replaced by a multi-million dollar permanent structure under the crane you'll see in the picture. All right, Joe XP. Seven to 180 OXP on the water for Code Make with your advisor. You will call airborne, OXP. With visibility 15 miles, maximum in flying terminology, we're off to Trout Lake to visit the Tremblay family at their trap line about 85 kilometers or 50 miles northwest of Larange. So after the pre-flight checks, we close the hatch and take off into the wind along the shoreline of the church property. En route, we see the new road to Stanley Mission being constructed in sparsely settled country, where communities are still very much reliant on the bush plane. Yes, roads are appearing, 
but not paved highways. In fact, it can take five to six hours to reach some places by road, usually less than one by plane. This way of life is slowly eroding due to progress of developing natural resources, growth of white populations in the villages and towns, and the influx of native Indians to the white ways. On landing, we see quickly the Tremblays are busy elsewhere, checking the fish nets or out to town for supplies. So, on to other posts to visit. Holy Trinity Church, across the Churchill River from the community of Stanley Mission, truly has the appearance of an English cathedral, even here in remote northern Saskatchewan. Construction of this building over 140 years ago was no easy task. However, lumber was derived from the site, as you can see the area cleared around the building. With the church on the opposite side of the river, it is only used on special occasions, simply because it's not possible for everyone to boat across in the summer, and it's too big to heat all winter. But there it stands, as a monument to the faith of our fathers, back when survival was the daily struggle. The spire, or steeple, was even higher a few years ago. However, a previous bishop of the Saskatchewan Diocese feared it would crumble, so it was modified. And the bell is now outside on the grounds where it can still be used. 